Hey guys, welcome back to SG Karma Reviews and today we are at the first look. The all new BMW M2. This is by far one of my, I think by far my favorite M car. I can't wait. Really excited. Let's go. Let's have a look. Right guys, this is it. We are here. Check this out. This all new BMW M2. You've seen it in the photos. I can tell you this much. What you see in the photos, no, 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 no. Doesn't do it justice. If you look over here, look at this. In the photos, it, will, it looked too sharp in the photos, but now in real life, you stand next to it. In the flesh, in the metal, you actually see there's a roundedness to it. It's not so sharp that it's gonna poke your eyes out. And I really like it. When you see this from afar, you know it's an M2. No other M car looks like this. Over here, then you see, look at this, this power dome. Not really too visible, cause the car is white, but I can already imagine if they had an M2 competition or something, I could already imagine them like making a functional vent out of this. And below here, you check this out, frameless kidney grills. I must say the treatment has been really quite nice. And these two, the air intakes. Great job, great job. All right guys, here it is. This is by far my favorite part about the M2, the profile. From the front, you look at these wheels, staggered wheel and tire sizes, 19 inches for the front, 20 inches for the rear. But the real highlight here is the profile you're seeing behind me. If you are an M fan, if you love the M3, you would have realized, look at the side. It's heavily inspired by the first gen M3, the E30 M3. And it's really, really handsome. I mean, from the front, from the side, when people see your car, if they're an M fan, if they're an enthusiast, they're gonna know what it is straight away. Now, let's check out the rear. Now we've seen the front, we've seen the side. <laughs> this has to be the most distinctive part about the car, the rear. If the front wasn't too blocky, wasn't that angular, you, you think you need something sharper? Well, you've got this, look at this. I wouldn't even call it chunky, I think it's quite chunky. And then below, lovely, lovely quad exhaust with those electrically controlled flaps, you know, get the revs high enough and then mm, it's gonna sing its song. Short deck lid, all in all, really something to look at. This car has a lot of presence. That's the word for it. And now I think, let's hop in, let's have a look inside. Now I'm well ensconced in the M2's cockpit. Again, a special place to be in. In front of you, OS8, but this time specifically configured for this M car. So you notice the M colors are in the background. It's a very subtle but nice touch. M specific menus, of course. In front of me, you've got this nice steering wheel, very meaty feel. The pedal shifters with carbon fiber, of course. Your M1, M2 buttons, mm, more on that probably in the review. And then you've got your M shifter. You know, you've got all these controls here. We'll do a deeper dive when we review the car. Now, let's take a peek under the bonnet. Right, under the bonnet, that classic powertrain we all love. Three liters, inline six. Ooh, super, super. You know it's gonna be smooth. Twin turbo charge, it's rear wheel drive. The output now, 453 brake horsepower. That's 89 brake horsepower more than the previous M2. 550 Newton meters of torque. With that eight speed automatic gearbox, this car will do zero to 100 in 4.1 seconds. Pretty, pretty quick. And for you hardcore folks out there, yes, you can still spec this guy with a six speed manual. Very, very tasty.
So that was the first look of the all new BMW M2. Unfortunately, there's no price just yet, cause guess what? This car is still being homologated. But stay tuned for our review. You know it's gonna come. Anyway, that's all from me today. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow us on TikTok at SG Karmat. That's all guys, stay safe, take care, bye.